Hi, it's Doug Liner with another Patch of the Week. This week I'm going to look again at an interesting rhythm application for the early surge envelope generators. I've got two of them operating here, and I'm going to use them to create rhythms and polyrhythms. What we'll do is that we'll start with a clock. It's being generated by a negative slew, and it's powering each one of these. A quirky characteristic of the envelope generator that I'm using here is that it won't start its envelope again until it's finished the one that it's already doing. So that means that you could give it a stream of pulses, but they're not going to make any difference as long as there's an envelope shape that's longer than the pulse rate. So what that means is that they pulse divide or frequency divide. Let me show you how it happens. I'm going to turn on the master clock. I have a cycle switch here. If you didn't, you would just uh, cycle it yourself with a patch cord. I'm going to turn up the clock so we can hear what it's doing. So that's the raw clock output. Let's call it eighth notes. Okay. Now I'm going to bring up this envelope generator over here. And you can see by its light and by its sound that it's going at the same frequency as the master clock. If I back this off a hair and give it a slightly longer envelope shape, I'm going to select every other pulse or, uh, from the clock. And so now I'm dividing the clock by half. Real simple, very usable. And as I continue to lengthen this, it's going to divide it by three there. That's actually by four now. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's still by three. Two, three, four, five, and so on. All right, it'll just keep on doing that as you, as you lengthen the envelope shape. So let's put this back to what would equal a quarter note against the master clock's eighth note. And then let's come over here and get this other envelope generator in play. It's also dividing the clock by half, although at the moment they're opposite each other as far as what pulse they're starting on. If I take and bring this down by just a little bit to lengthen Okay, we now get three here and two here, and we've got the original clock going. So for these guys, this is two against three. Let's get rid of the original clock, and you can hear what's going on with this. And you can see with the LEDs uh, that they are corresponding to each other in, in a two by three as well. So let's say we wanted to have three by five three against five. So it's really as simple as that. You use the envelope generator to divide the frequency, then you use a pulse uh, or some sort of an output from it to excite a couple of filters and uh, you've got percussion, you've got polyrhythms as well as straight rhythms. Alright, there you go, patch of the week.